galaxy burns. The fate of humanity hangs by a thread, and we stand isolated and alone against the dark. But the sons of Sanguinius are not so easily defeated. We stood at the gates of terror, and our traitorous kid broke against us. Now we stand together once more, united by the blood of the great angel. I am a fiston, and I have conquered death. Follow me, and bear witness to my fury. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video, so another one dedicated to the Blood Angels, my good god. The blood of Sanguinius is strong this week, it's all because of course, Psychic Awakening is coming and today we have the chapter preview of the Blood Angels. Now there's a lot of things to go through but one of the things that stuck out to me straight away is that we have officially now, painted up as well, officially Death Company primaris so it is official you know they can fall to the black rage that means that it also fall to the the red first i'd say if you can fall to the black rage that means you can fall to the red first that means you know um primaris wolfen and stuff like that that surely that's all on the cards this opens up the door to all the kind of stuff that people are like oh primaris are just so they're just so normal they have nothing wrong with them they do the gene flaws are in with the primaris as well anyway let's jump in let's get into this article and let's discuss what it has so like all these articles it starts with who are they who are the blood angels i think we all know who the blood angels are but i'll give a little brief summary for those of you who may be new so the blood angels are glorious golden-haired heroes clad in the finest armor wielding beautifully crafted weapons of war however there's a darkness at heart of these warriors a terrible flaw that threatens to drive them to savagery of course if you don't know the flaw is the black rage and the red first they have two of them uh, the black rage is imprinted psychic lab when sanguinis died and the red first is a gene flaw which makes them want to drink everyone's blood because vampires and things right let's go down and let's look at some of the um the new stuff they get so the little blurb of text here says as well as being noble the blood angels are compliant with the codex of status and now have been brought in line with their fellow space marines battle brothers uh, they now have the angels of death ability which gives them access uh, to and they shall know no fear bolter discipline shock assault and combat doctrines yay the assault doctrine is going to prove very popular with the blood angel players thanks to their unique chapter trait yeah the blood angels well i think it's blood angels black templars and space wolves for me are the main melee um chapters and uh, you can argue dark angels and stuff like that but when you say melee chapters and you know people who are uh, amazing when it comes to melee fighting my I, I i instantly go to blood angels space wolves and black templars because that is where it is for me so the first thing they show off is something called savage echoes whilst the assault doctrine is active if a unit with this ability makes a charge move is charged or performs a heroic intervention add one to the attack characteristic of models in that unit until the end of the turn no this is a cumulative uh, with the bonus these models receive from shock assault okay so you get the shock assault and you also get this as well so all, all the bloody attacks um I, I, i've never played with death company but i've heard like death company like um jump assaults or sanguinary guard you know jump assaults getting them into melee can be absolutely devastating so pairing this with savage echoes and of course the old shock assault could be um very very ruthless and very devastating i like that you know again putting it where it is where where the blood angels are, are best and that is in your face chopping you with an axe and the next thing we get is biomantic sarcophagus librarian dreadnought uh, do you know what there's something that you can do with a blood angels where you can make your dreadnought fly it's absolutely ridiculous someone did it against me in a tournament i was like wait what this librarian dreadnought could fly he's like yes yeah, wings of sanguinius or some sort of stupid like that. i forgot what it was but it made me laugh it was absolutely epic so librarian dreadnought uh, model only add six inches to the range of the psychic powers this model manifests from sanguinary discipline in addition once per turn when a psychic test or deny the witch test is taken for this model you can re-roll one of the dice okay there you go so a nice little bonus to your psychic stuff nothing nothing too mind-blowing but a nice little bonus for your psychic stuff and the next one is called invocation of destruction 
If this litter net is inspiring, select one friendly Blood Angel unit within six inches of this model. When resolving an attack made with a melee weapon by a model in that unit on a modified wound roll of six, that weapon has an armor penetration characteristic of minus four for that attack. That is absolutely brutal. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. Just getting like Death Company, uh, like um, uh, that Death Company um, jump assault guy. I probably forgot his name. Please don't purge me. Um, getting him there, you know, if he can cast like all these litanies and stuff on him. And if you get the, you know, if, if the dice gods are on your side and you manage to get some sixes, a minus four. Oh, boy, 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 boy. That is going to be chucking through uh, more or less nearly everything um, on the table. I really, really like that. I think, I think that's really cool. I absolutely love absolutely love litanies it's really brought chaplains into the tabletop again like chaplains were always awesome but this has made them awesome on the tabletop now like I, the, the only reason i bought a chaplain model was for the rule of cool but now i'm actually buying chaplain models not only for the rule of cool because they're also awesome on the battlefield as well so i absolutely love what gw has done with litanies and i hope they continue it for many years to come and moving on to the stratagems this is getting me all giddy because do you know what, do you know what the biggest thing for me is that i love primaris but one of my biggest hates against primaris is that they were too generic that they were too perfect and everyone's like oh yeah they're too perfect because you know they don't have the black rage they don't have the red first the wolf and you know all, all that kind of stuff and now they have that and it, it, it makes them well it gives them a character again when it when you pair him with you know with their chapter that suffers these gene defects so i'm i'm, I'm really happy and i'm um, really really giddy that um these chaps are being brought into this fold so this is called a uh, rapid fire blood angel stratagem two command points use this stratagem at the start of your shooting phase select one blood angel intercessor squad or death company intercessor unit oh god i love saying that death company intercessor unit from your army until the end of that phase bolt rifles uh sorry bolt rifles that models in that unit are equipped with have a type characteristic of rapid fire too so basically more shots it's like oh i'm going insane i can fire more bullets at you and that kind of stuff yeah that's that's okay i think i think the biggest thing is when you have blood angels now and you have death company primaris um that, I, I, that's called death company primaris you don't really have a lot of melee options like the death company that we have now i really you know they got the jump packs on you know you can you can do all that kind of awesome stuff with them you don't really have that option with the primaris yet because we don't really have a lot of melee type units yes you can have reavers with the combat swords and stuff but i'm on about you know power claws power axes unit wide chainsaws unit wide not just like a sergeant or anything like that so once they start bringing that into the fold a little bit more which i definitely think they will do i think this type of stuff for the primaris will be used a lot more and hopefully more rules for it is stuff like that to make it even more awesome and of course, if you pair everything, what we've been speaking about in the article, with this Black Rage, you get five attacks. It actually says it in the article. It says, when they succumb, they are arranged into intercessor squads and unleashed on their enemies. The Black Rage gives them an extra attack in a turn when they charge. So with the Shock Assault ability and Savage Echoes, that means five attacks. That's five attacks, not just for the whole unit, per person. So if you have bloody 10 intercessors oh my holy emperor i could just imagine like ah stab it stab it stab it stab it stab it stab it everywhere it, oh yeah do 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 not charge death company intercessors or i think they will beat you to death with the blunts um of their rifles sorry the books of their rifles just like stab it on your head and stuff like that all those bloody attacks and of course that's the that's not adding the sergeant stuff i'm wondering if there's like relics that you know the sergeant can get and then get added onto the death company stuff hopefully we'll get some more of that uh, very very soon so that yeah i love that i absolutely i absolutely love it and um, black rage uh, pairing with the primaris and um, can be kind of deadly but then I, I i do go back to my other point i really wish that we had more primaris um, melee type options but i'm sure that will come in the future and for you flesh terror players this may um, um raise your eyebrows in interest um it says here the battle to banish the tyranids from the Baal system also included the blood angel successors it's, it's a great book the devastation of Baal. you should read it get get dante first and then read the devastation of Baal. um and the blood angel uh, and, and blood of Baal has new rules for one of the most storied the flesh terrors so this confirms that the flesh terrors will have rules uh, in the new blood of Baal book. i don't know how much it's got to go into it is it going to be as much as the blood angels or are they going to do it like what they did with the crimson fist in the imperial fist codex stuff like that is it just going to be the flesh terrors are we going to have you know more i'm trying to think of other bloody um uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of other uh, uh, 
bloody just says the chapters. I can't think of the top of my head. I'm sorry, son of Sanguinius. Um, please forgive me. Um, and it says this bit, little bit here. Fury within the flesh terrors labor under a bloodthirsty recklessness uh, when controlled and focused. However, this murderous ferocity can make them unstoppable. So fury within. When resolving an attack made with a melee weapon by a model with this ability in a turn in which that model unit made a charge move, was charged, or performed a heroic intervention, add one to the wound roll. In addition, when resolving an attack made with a melee weapon by a model in this unit, on a modified wound roll of six, improve that weapon's armor penetration characteristic by one for that attack, e.g. AP uh, minus, uh, sorry, AP zero becomes AP minus one. So that is a pretty decent um, um, little buff. Um, again, you Blood Angel players will know more what to pair that off with me. I'm just trying to think things off the top of my head. But I'm just glad that um, uh, the Flesh Terror is getting some love because the Flesh Terror is a, a massive fan favourite. Fingers crossed that GW start releasing some bloody decals for him and like official you know shoulder pads and stuff. I know you can you can get one in the Death Company box set. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, it's no sorry, no, sorry, not Death Company, Death Watch. I'm, I'm my mind's a million places at the moment. Uh, so yeah, you can get like a shoulder pad in the in the Death Watch. Um, but apart from that, you can't really get them anywhere rather than third party sites. But if GW go and do something like they have been doing with like the Imperial Fists, the Salamanders, you know, the Ultramarines, you know, the White Scars releasing all these new Primaris pads, surely the Flash Terrorists deserve this kind of love and they can jump on this train and, you know, they can feed off it because they're an awesome chapter. And just to finish it off, it has a little preview of Mephiston rules. But if you've watched my previous video from a couple of days ago, they released all the rules. Well, it's, it got released online, all Mephiston rules and um it's kind of underwhelming uh yeah i'm not i'm, I'm not I, i'm not gonna say i'm unhappy with it but i expected more especially so how they've been making my fist on like this absolute powerhouse especially in the law i know law and tabletop is different but I, I don't know i just expected something a little bit more powerful from Mephiston's model to make him really like oh boy this guy is the meanest of the mean. At the moment, he's okay. He's, there's nothing wrong with him. But I, I, I don't know. I just expected something else, like a, a whole different level to Mephiston when he ascended to the Primaris uh, mantle. All right, Chaperunios, that is me done for another video. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Tell me what you think. Uh, do you like the stuff they've previewed so far? Of course, this is not at all. This is just a little preview. Um, I'm actually really looking forward to see what the Tyranids get because uh, there's been a lot of talk about Nids. They haven't received a lot of love um, and that much. I know with the models and stuff, they've yet to receive anything new in the Psychic Awakening, but um, um, let's hopefully they get some decent rules that makes them um, more competitive and more awesome to play with on the actual battlefield. So yeah, there we go. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Well, as always, leave your thoughts and feedbacks in the comments section below, brothers, and we shall um, talk down there. See you now. Have a great night and bye-bye.